Most of us have been there, passing by someone who's homeless and not sure whether we're supposed to look or turn our heads. Well, one man from Bountiful spends quite a bit of time among the homeless in the Rio Grande area of Salt Lake, and he's made looking part of what he does. Yeah, in fact, he says looking may just be the most important part of what he does. New specialist Debbie Worthen now with the story. People have hard times, everyone. On a block like this one. Good morning, everybody. It's easy to judge. Everyone doing good? Sneak a peek at this guy. Take a glance at that woman. And a cup of coffee? Maybe you shouldn't even look at all. We got sandwiches, oatmeal, and hot drink. But for Bruce Morrison. All right, you slept all right? Looking. Oh, yeah, you know, when you sleep down in the streets. Is what he does best. Did they make some bad decisions? Yes. I've made ba bad decisions, decisions I regret. Doesn't make me better than them. And it's easy to judge Bruce, too. Hey, I got a hand washing here with hot water. You might think he works for some sort of homeless outreach service. Good morning. But the truth is, he's just a regular guy with a job running an assisted living center. Oatmeal over there with brown sugar. Do you want some? A regular guy who came here four years ago to serve Thanksgiving dinner and was absolutely terrified. We didn't know if it was going to be violent, people angry with us. But the response he received is what's brought him back week after week. I feel safe here. I feel protected. And you might want to judge those helping him, too. Coffee? Stephanie's yeah. just someone who works for Bruce. You're welcome. Have a good day. That guy on the end? That's Florencio. Okay. He runs his own construction business. And the reason they're both here is because they've both been here. I lived underneath 400 South, left underneath the bridge with a half gallon of whiskey or vodka a day. Oh, you lose your, your husband, your house, your job, your... Everything kind of end up on the street. What you see out here was me 10, nine years ago. That tells you that every single person still matters because they can change. But change isn't easy. Good to see you. Change can't just be bought with a cup of oatmeal. What's going on? But for those serving it up, change can come just by looking. My smiling face helps them. They lack self-confidence. I think if we were able to fix self-confidence, you wouldn't have a real homeless problem. Would you like some, ma'am? Oh, yes, I left mine somewhere and I forgot it, but I did want it. Thank there you go. On a block like this one, judging is easy. Oh, it's just back on, there's a little bit. But if you ask Bruce Morrison. Well, you're a good man. Thank you. Thanks for all you do. The most important thing he can do is look past the hardships they can't hide simply seeing people. More than feeding them food, let them know they're, they're loved. Let them know that they matter. That was Debbie Worthen reporting. Bruce says that he helps feed around 100 people every single week and has made lasting friendships with many of the folks that he serves.